Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For the past couple of days, I have been gravitated towards more of holographic eyeshadows, a bit of more experimental stuffs like this. So here's the look of holographic eyeshadow with Indian glass skin. Very clearly, there are two perspectives in this look. First one being the glass skin concept where the skin looks very hydrated, well nourished, plump and obviously radiating light like glass. So needless to say how important is the skin prep. So here I'm using a vibrating uh, facial roller after using my moisturizer. A separate video on this will be posted soon on my channel. A very healthy skin is the key to achieve glass skin, period. No makeup can do that for you. Okay, starting the makeup with a glow boosting primer from Maybelline. Choosing this one as it's going to impart glow that we are looking for as well as making the skin a smooth canvas for the upcoming painting. Using MAC Strobe Cream as it contains fine shimmer particles before moving on to the foundation, a very nice cost-effective alternative for this uh, strobe cream would be Lacme Lumi Cream. The foundation I'm using is from Lacme 9 to 5 and blending it really well with my sponge. And the concealer is my age-old L'Oreal Infallible one. This particular concealer is visibly very light to my skin tone but I still picked it up because I was doing a very heavy eye makeup that generally makes the under eye dark and fatigued. In order to eradicate that, I chose it and I'm blending it uh, with the help of my pack blender and also using the sponge. So this is how the skin looks once the base is completed. Next moving on to the cheek tint. Using the Etude How Chick Tint here as it gives a very natural dewy kind of flush of colour to my cheeks, I feel the glass skin is all about glow from within kind of concept and it needs to be blended really well like I'm doing. So slowly and steadily we are entering into the second phase that is to attempt the very colourful holographic eyeshadow. So here I have taken an olive green eyeliner pencil from K-Beauty for not only lining the upper lash line but also to make it act like a base for the application of the other eyeshadows. Okay, so after blending it uh, properly, I'm going to take an orange shade from the Nikake palette for the crease work over here. Next, picking up the NYX Jumbo Pencil in blue for the lower lash line. It could have been done with a black liner instead, but evidently I wanted something fancy for this look. So the glitterati begins here. This is a shimmery, glittery green shade from Swiss Beauty. I am extremely shocked to see this pigment, unexpected literally. And that too comes at a very reasonable price point that's not going to burn a hole in your pocket. And the glitter rush made me sing this Kodivane. Okay, jokes apart, moving on to give the eyes more definition with a black eyeliner, I mean gel liner. And I'm not really making a very prominent um, wing eyeliner like I mostly do. So my research on the holographic eyeshadow looks told me that it requires dual tone eyeshadows to complement each other. And with that pursuit, I have added this NYX loose glitter in the shade blue to make it pop like this. So this is not something that we often conventionally do but I really like the concept and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. So initially I thought of keeping the lips subdued and that's why I applied the lip tint, the same one which I applied for the cheeks. But then I stumbled onto something like this. This is Gleam Wine from Makeup Revolution. An amazing color, looks like wine droplets beaming in light and I'm completely shook by it because I received this today and I could not hold my temptation of applying it and I am so satisfied. Okay, so no glass skin look is ever completed without application of a highlighter and I'm using my very old, trust me, very old Maybelline Molten Gold, I think. Uh, yeah. and I'm done what do you think about this I also have curled my hair today paired my favorite raw stone jewelries tried to keep everything color coordinated so like I said this is not something I would normally attempt it is certainly a departure from the mundane everyday ritual makeup is very therapeutic to me and this is my utmost happiness to bring my art to you all 
let me know what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching bye